we have Josh Quinlan versus Adam Fugit. Let's look at the odds for this fight, too. So Josh Quinlan, minus 125, opened up at a minus 145. There was a point where he was played to an underdog twice in the last few weeks. I got to go with Adam Fugit. I'm leaning towards him, actually. Um, you know, Quinlan took a lot. Took a lot of damage in his last KO loss to Danny Barlow. I mean, I was I actually watched that fight live with the Pure Picks crew in Anaheim. And, you know, I think he's coming back a little quick after you no know, less than four months. I mean, he took a lot of damage in that fight. Uh Fugit, he also has some durability issues, but you know, Quinlan's style of launching looping shots and you know I think that there could be some danger there, but I think the problem is that Fugit's gonna be too long uh for for Quinlan to kind of catch him. You know, Quinlan's already been befuddled by long and rangy opponents before, like Trey Waters and Danny Barlow. And I also think that he can get out wrestled in this matchup because Adam Fugit is a better wrestler than either of those guys that Quinlan fought. So, you know, I, I do wish that I was a little bit more sure in Adam Fugit because I feel like he has the skill set to defeat Quinlan. But I just see some danger in him being cracked by Quinlan's shots. And, you know, Fugit also, you know, does have some durability issues, like I mentioned. So, pick here is going to be Fugit via KO for me. Um, but for now, I'm leaning towards passing on this fight because I see better plays that we could have going forward. 